Hi everyone, today's review about the Feather Soli Sharps Long Range with 34 Bell and 4570 caliber. So let's have a look. It's unboxing, it's a brand new one. Um, and definitely, um, you can see with some serial numbers and stuff, but you can see it's a uh, it's model 788. 457 1874 sharps long range 4570 this is an unboxing of the brand new rifle uh, how it came from the dealer so let's have a look the box by the way is huge so the rifle is huge it's very long barrel uh, plus it's super heavy it's like 12 pounds 12 to 13 pounds, don't remember the exact number, but it's very heavy like. Alright, uh, what do we have here? Nothing fancy, a bunch of styrofoam. Manual. Manual was actually uh, in, in a plastic wrap and the manual is, manual is very scarce. It doesn't really have any uh, details about this particular rifle it's like a common manual uh, there is a lot of warnings and stuff so i didn't find this manual useful they have the pager solid they have a lot of information on their website uh, with the pdf manuals so i would probably stick to that uh, the usual cd is probably a little bit more information there Uh, the, the tank side and as well as the inserts for the front side, I believe. Yeah. Just take them out here. Okay, yep. This is the vernier, the tank side that is supposed to be attached to the, to the back. And this is the, a good selection of a different inserts for the front side. Some mounting hardware, nothing else. All right, let's see the, the rifle itself. So uh, I have actually taken it out already because it was covered with a very thick layer of the gun oil, which is good actually because uh, who knows which what conditions is gonna be stored or trans transported? So I think that uh, this is a, uh, this is a good approach. All right. So here's the guy. Oh man, it's so heavy. It's an old West sniper rifle. It's a Buffalo rifle. The famous movie. I clearly don't honor with Tom Selleck. He was using actually um, a similar rifle in 45-100 or 110. I don't remember exactly. I'm sorry, but not 4570, which is a shorter cartridge. The same bullet, but shorter cartridge. And this is the front side uh, where those inserts go. It has a very nice uh, pure German silver insert. Very nice kind of like a, a antique finish and the wood is great actually. So my first intention was to actually go for the Shiloh Sharps, which is an American made uh, manufacturer of the Sharp, famous sharps rifles, but the thing is that you have to wait. Like uh, it's all custom job, and you have to wait uh, probably a year or maybe even more. Uh, but you can customize everything. You can just you can even send them their your own boot, for example, or uh, sides or anything like that. So they will just custom build a rifle for you. And of course, the price tag for that is probably two or three times more than this one. This one retails for a little bit more than two grand, uh, which I got it 
for and it has everything that I'm, I was interested in and even more. Yes, it's not American made, it's Italy made, but what's a big deal? It's a quality made rifle. Uh, the barrel uh, also is not full, the full length is not octagonal. It's a round barrel, as you can see here, which I don't have any issues about. There's also a, a very nice kind of like, not a feature, but kind of like a polishing the end of the barrel. Uh, if you see the, uh, if you saw the uh, Trilo Sharps, it's like black and it's, it looks like it's, it's custard or something. I don't know. I like this one better. So this is a falling block rifle. Uh, that means that if you operate the lever here, and to operate the lever, you have to actually cock the hammer into the half cock position just to make sure that you do not shear the, the striking pin. And just move the lever up front. So you see the block actually falls. That's why it's called a falling block. Sometimes I think it's called rolling block, but uh, more precisely speaking, rolling block is a little bit different, right? There you go. So it's it's very simple construction. It's basically a cannon. So you open the breech, you load up your uh, cartridge there, you close, and then you fire. You have to move the, uh, the hammer uh, back all the way back to fire. There are two triggers. This is the set trigger. This is the main trigger. Uh, the the force on the main one is, I, I think it's pretty heavy, it's like 6 to 8 pounds. Uh, but you can use it if you want to make it like hair light. Uh, you just set, set it by using this one. And then if you even touch it, it will shoot. So this is very important and very useful if you are actually uh, shooting long distances. I obviously haven't tried it yet, it's a brand new one. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try in the next uh, few days or a couple of weeks once I have a chance to go to the range. So there it is. Old sniper sharps, 1874 sharps rifle from Pedersoli. Thanks for watching.